Joe Wilfrid Songa has had many serious injuries in the past and the one he suffered in Montpellier in February last year threatened to end his career, sidelining him from the court for seven months and requiring a small knee surgery on April 3rd after more than 10 years. Joe dropped out from the top 30 and had to postpone his comeback a few times, missing the entire clay and grass season and also skipping the US Open, just like in 2010 and 2013 when he had knee problems as well. The Frenchman had finally made his comeback in Mets in September, losing to the defending champion Peter Gojocic 6-7, 6-3, 6-4 -re in an hour and 45 minutes despite showing very solid tennis. The rest of the season was not that good, though, trying to find the rhythm and leave the pain behind him, scoring just one triumph in Antwerp and wrapping up the year with five ATP wins overall, dropping out from the top 200 in October for the first time since April 2007, Songa planned to compete at Orleans Challenger but decided to skip it and avoid further troubles with his knee before the start of the new season. Former Grand Slam finalist worked hard during the off-season and it seems he has found the desired form in 2019, scoring 13 wins in 17 matches with the title in Montpellier where his trouble started a year ago and moving closer to the place in the top 100 after reaching the quarter-final in Marrakesh. Next week, Joe will enter Monte Carlo Masters with protected ranking and will close the month in Bordeaux Challenger, returning to this level of competition for the first time since 2007. Instead of asking for a wild card in Estrille or Munich, Songa has decided to compete in front of the home fans, hoping to continue where he left in Lanzarote and Surbiton 12 years ago. Songa has won eight challenger titles from just 62 wins on that level and will endeavor more of that in Bordeaux against the names like Thanasi Kokonakis, Steve Darsus, Adrian Manorino, Tommy Robredo.